but I counsel a lot of people. A lot of people are referred to me, and I give them a lot of uh, uh, spiritual direction on on uh, on what they should do. In other words, to be liberated from the diabolical. It's pretty simple. It's not it's not rocket science. Uh, mm. what, what attracts demons is somebody who lives in mortal sin. Simple. Or, or, or here's here's basically four ways that people get invite demons into their life. It's very simple. Wow. Somebody who lives in unrepentant, unconfessed mortal sin, so they have a hard heart like Pharaoh, number one. Brother Jesse, uh, why do you think why God allow us to tempt by the devil? I'll tell you why that God mm. allows it, demons to tempt us is because life would be boring if life wasn't, uh, if, if God didn't give us the challenge mm. to become saints. And what do I mean by that? Imagine if God would have made all of us just like, you know, people of faith and perfect. And we'd all walk around like robots saying, I love God. I love God. I love Jesus. I love mm. Jesus. Let's pray. That would have been a very boring world. That would have been utopia. Heaven is called a place of rewards. And so in order in order for you to get a reward, that means you have to put in some effort. You got to put in, you got to struggle. You got to put in some effort in order to gain a reward. And so God has allowed the world to be saturated with demons. Why? Because they become the impediments for us to grow into holiness. Demons are an impediment. Now... It makes us strive for holiness, as it says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14. It makes us uh, exer exercise the, uh, the gift of faith that God has given us. It makes us try to pursue a life of virtue, which is holy habits. Uh, deny yourself of, of, of certain disordered appetites and certain disordered pleasures. <clears throat> and so, so think about... Think about a boxer like Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao yes. got got as good as he got because he has good sparring partners. And mm. so the people that he trains with his sparring partners, uh, because they're quite good, have got him to the level where he's at these last couple of years. Yes. That's exactly the way it is with demons. God has allowed demons to tempt us to become our sparring partners. Why? Because it's in the struggle of sparring against the demons that were able to grow in holiness. Wow. It's like, again, it's like a sparring partner. If your sparring partner is attacking you, he's in your face. It makes you put your hands up. It makes you fight back. It makes you, you know, use the ring, cut the corners, throw mm. punch. This is exactly why God has allowed demons to, in to infest the world is so that us, his, his, uh, his creation, the, uh, the, the, the male and female, mm. so that we can fight back and he'll give us the grace to fight back. He'll give us the gift of faith. He'll give us the desire to fight back. He'll give us the grace to, uh, to, to again, to pursue a life of virtue. And this way we're fighting back. And what happens in the midst of that is we're growing in holiness. Amen. When you resist the demons, you resist the temptation, you fight back against them, you're growing in holiness. Just wow. like Manny Pacquiao grew in uh, in skill by his sparring partners. He grows in skill by good sparring partners. We grow in holiness by sparring with demons. Amen. That is very powerful that we grow in holiness. Amen. That's why St. Paul says, for example, yes. and uh, mm. he says to Timothy, look at all the men. Fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Yeah. So he, St. Paul uses those terms in the Bible about, uh, you know, uh, fighting the good fight of faith, put on the armor of God. Why? Because as it says in Job chapter 7, verse 1, life on earth is warfare. Life on mm -hmm. earth is warfare. Job chapter 7, verse 1. Yeah. Have you been part of a uh, deliverance ministry? Yeah, for years in Los Angeles I was. Uh, I moved out here to Phoenix a few years ago. And I, I, I'm, I'm too busy with uh, podcasting and writing books and preaching. So, mm. I've, uh, but I counsel a lot of people. A lot of people are referred to me, and I give them a lot of uh, uh, 
spiritual direction on on uh, on what they should do. In other words, to be liberated from the diabolical. It's pretty simple. It's not it's not rocket science. Uh, mm. what, what attracts demons is somebody who lives in mortal sin. Simple. Or, or, or here's here's basically four ways that people get invite demons into their life. It's very simple. Wow. Somebody who lives in unrepentant, unconfessed mortal sin, so they they have a mm. hard heart like Pharaoh. Number one. Number two, somebody who starts dabbling in the world of the occult, witchcraft, Satanism, uh, you know, uh, Ouija boards, Charlie Charlie, the world yeah, of the Charlie, occult, Charlie. You open mm. yourself up to demons. Uh, number three, the world of alcoholism and drugs, intoxication, mm. opens the door to demons. Number three. Wow. Number four, the world of sexual perversion, pornography, masturbation, fornication, uh, homosexual sex, lesbian sex, orgies. Uh, the world of sexual perversion opens up your, your the door to demons and, and you invite them into your life. So those are the four ways that demons come in. And so when I talk to people, they're saying, this is happening to me, this is happening, this is happening in my house. First thing I ask them, was the last time you've been to confession? 20 years ago? Uh, so you're in mortal sin. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. I'm living with my girlfriend. Oh, okay. I smoke marijuana every day. Oh, okay. And so when you look at a person's life, and I tell them, unless you clean up everything in your life, personal life, in your household, in your in your sexual practices, uh, yes. these demons that are tormenting you, that are afflicting you, and these demons that are in, that are infesting your house, they're not going to leave because they have permission to be there. You've invited them in. So it's very simple, Brother Adrian. The spiritual warfare is the art of teaching the Catholic how to live in a state of sanctifying grace. If you live yeah. in a state of sanctifying grace, you are protected. From Para laging mabango ang ating mga Catholic image, mga poon, or mga santo na kala mo amoy rosas, I recommend na gamitin po natin ang Flor de Maria Scent. Okay, so mga interested po na bumili ng Flor de Maria Scent, ay ilalagay ko po yung details sa video na ito. Hello mga ka if you want to support the ministry of Sis Carmela, Uh, para bilin po ang kanyang gawang biswax candle and kung di ka familiar dito sa bis- biswax candle ito po ay sinabi ng ating mga catholic saint regarding sa three days of darkness na ito lang daw yung uh, kind of candle na sisinde pag three days of darkness na pero ito ay isang private revelation okay hindi po tayo finoforce na maniwala dito pero kung ikaw ay interested mag ng biswax candles and ang beeswax candles naman ay hindi lang naman to for 3 days of darkness kung titignan mo ay maraming benefit din ang beeswax candle kasi uh, pure po siya at natural so maganda siya sa environment if you want to avail this beeswax candle uh, you may contact si Carmela dito sa number na makikita nyo dito sa screen okay so paki-text or paki-viver na lang po siya and also Maraming maraming salamat pa rin sa inyong suporta sa ating mga uh, merchandise item sa Adrian Milag Store. Okay, so available pa rin ang ating mga merchandise item sa Shopee and sa Merchiful. Nasa link po sa baba ng video na to, yung details kung saan kayo pwedeng mag-avail ng ating mga merchandise item. And also mga ka if you want to support daan para sa bukasyon, ito po ay monthly pledge sa ating mga seminarians ng Antipolo Cathedral na ito ay sobrang makakatulong sa kanilang uh, pag-aaral bilang isang uh, seminarista. Okay, so if you want to support them by pledging 100 pesos a month, Uh, you may contact the number that I provided on this video or nakalagay dito sa baba ng video na to ilalagay ko yung details kung saan kayo pwedeng magtanong kung saan kayo pwedeng magpadala ng 100 pesos nyo to support our seminarians. Okay, so thank you and God bless.
So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na na-bless at na-inspire ka dito sa aking vlog. Make sure na i-like mo at mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to. At mag-subscribe ka sa aking YouTube channel para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At huwag mo din kakalimutan na i-like ang aking page. So this has been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.